can bless you so much. You've been good to us. You've been kind to us. You preserve our lives. What a time can bless you for the gift of life that you've given to us and are glad for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for this day. It is the day that you have made and will have every reason to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you also for traveling mercies that you've given to our beloved brothers and sisters from far and near to Walla Walla. What a time can bless you, oh Lord, because you are God. What a time can bless you for your goodness. What a time can bless you for your kindness. Above all, what a time can bless you for your faithfulness. Even as we are mourning, we are saying thank you in the name of Jesus because it is your well for our lives. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. In Romans chapter 14, verse 7 to 9, Apostle Paul said that for none of us live to himself alone. And none of us dies to himself alone. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. I live while you live. Shall we be upstanding? I die We live for the Lord. If we die, it is His will. In His wisdom, He has called our father, our brother, our husband, our everything to glory. He belongs to the Lord and He has called Him. All of us who are mourning, we also belong to the Lord. We want to strengthen ourselves in the Lord. Even as we commit this morning's service into his hands. Let his spirit brood over the whole meeting. We encounter him. Our lives will be transformed after this meeting. Shall we pray, please? Father, I want to thank you. To the matter of Pussy, Casuari, and the man I want to me for the Bianca and Talangan to the man I want to be well. You have to have a brother, 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 from the inception of this meeting over I trust in you forevermore. Jehovah God, who overrules, who overrules, I you forever. Sí, 
Jesus, Lord. At your mercy, Lord. Standing in your presence, Jehovah God, the Lord of hosts, your will be done. At your mercy, Lord. At your mercy, Lord. Oh, at your mercy, Lord. Dwell in your presence, standing in your presence, Jehovah God, the Lord of hosts. Your will be done. Standing in your presence, Jehovah. We say thank you. you. We are praying in the name of Jesus, committing this meeting into your hands. God, the Holy Spirit, we ask that you reign in every aspect of this meeting in the name of Jesus. Jesus, our Lord, you are the author and finisher of our faith. Begin with us and end with us and take all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, have we prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. Chorus leaders will help us. Thanks of praises. In this same atmosphere, we want to praise our Lord. Hallelujah. His mercy is over us. All his works shall praise him. His mercy is over us. All his works shall praise him. His mercy is over us. All is well. I shall praise. Great is our Lord. Great is our Lord God. And greatly to be praised. His mercy is over us.
Can do it better. You can do it better. Give a clap of front to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time for fire pulls. We are falling into the room over the that uh, tent. Where the body has been laid. And members will start first. Members. And other individuals who have not got the chance to look at our brother. So all members, while we think after that, then the officers will follow. Then then the platform followed by ministers and wives. Then the family will follow suit. So the chorus leaders should help us give us a very cool song. As the members stand up and then file pass. Yeah, especially those who want to, those who have just arrived and want to have a look at the body. So, chorus leaders help us. Members will go, followed by other individuals and then officers. Then the platform follows. There's a land that is fairer than day. The ushers will help us. Ushers, please. Usher them, Lania Sung and Umbusiti, a Changasim. Usher them, Lania Sung and Busiti, a Changasim. It should be so smooth. Don't go and stay there, please. Some Ganya, you have to chant on the Benny. You could have new Vimaka Garden, you know. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet. On that beautiful shore, yeah, in the sweet, yeah, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. Fair and day, and by faith we 
shall see it afar. Ah, that the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. There's a land, there's a land that is fairer than me. Yeah, and by faith we can see it afar. That the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling in the sweet, in the, in the sweet, sweet. Yeah.
the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to break the fire pulse and do some introductions of some personalities before we continue. And the first personality to be introduced is you yourself. You are very welcome here. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, all ministers and wives that are here should be outstanding if they can. So that we acknowledge their presence. Let's bless them. God bless you. Then you introduce some delegates from GPCC, national and then the region. Members from the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council that have been delegated to come here, please, you can be on your feet. You are welcome. God bless you. Then we have some apostles, some wives, and then area has yet to be introduced. Okay. Their names are here. Reverend Alassan Baba, regional superintendent, Assemblies of God. Where are you? Okay. Reverend Baba, one in your Assemblies of God. If you want to clap, you can clap. Feel free. Pastor Eric A. Achiada. Chadie, okay. Area Head, Apostolic Church. Narigo, or Napanduri. Napanduri Church. Pastor James Ndambi, District Minister, Narigo. Okay. Reverend Daniel K. Atia, Christian Council. Is the church rep who is here? Okay. Reverend Samson Nawulolo, Mawulolo, GPCC organizer, Northeast region. Okay, okay. You are welcome. Bishop Prosper Abenyo, Abenyo, Paris Chapel, Tamale. Oh, yeah. You are all welcome. Then we have Elder Chief Augustine. He's a Concomba Chief. Narigo. Yeah, Elder. Tembarete ba Concomba na liru Concomba na ba. Then we have Chief Jato Lambon. Bimo ba Chief Narigo. Teba bimo na na liru bimo na ban la. Chief Fabugri Alfred, Kusasi Chief of Narigu. Taba Kusana, Naliru Kusana. And then we have Basumarana. Basumarana, Narigu. To Tanadema Yinala Naliru. And then in Bazaki. In Bazaki, Narigu. Uh, yeah, yeah. In Bazaki. Okay. You are all welcome. Okay. Then we have other family heads that need to be introduced. But we have Mba Apandagu, the family head. Mba Apandagu, one in your family. We have Mba in Diego. Mba and Diego. All right. We also Tomare. have Naba Alas Buri. Tomare. Tomba. He's an elder Tomare. of the Church of Pentecost and the junior brother of the late prophet. We have Frank Abu Abugbila. Frank Abugbila. He's the area deacon of the Ashanti region CAC. Tomare. 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 Tomare.
And we have lastly Comfort Indego, uh, the mother of Mama Gladys Anaba. You are all welcome. Yes, uh, Jari. We have other heads, area heads, apostles and prophets and ministers that are here and their wives. We have in our midst Apostle Ben Lali, the area head of downtown of Angkor. God bless you, Apostle. We have Prophet Fredenchi. Batsona. Yeah, yes. Taba Anabi. Babetasani. Fred Enchi. Fred Enchi. Uh, we have Prophet Samuel Doku, Takrade District. Taba Anabi Samuel, Babetasani. We have come the way from Takrade to this place. Kuyina. God bless you. Nanu mi al Barka. We have Apostle Eric Jembi Bibuati, Boko area head. Tamare. The Apostle Eric Bokudonza Idehe la Apostle Dani Taki from Wa area. Te ma to ba wa area head la. We have Pastor David Dosu Tumu area. The Pastor David Dosu Tumu area head and la. And then Pastor David Amankwa Sola area. The ba Amankwa Sola area head. We have Apostle Patrick Astero. From Odoko area. The ba Apostle Patrick Asayero, the area head of Kurugunla, Odachana, Odoko. The wives are here. Some of the wives are here. Basibu Bapu Aldo Bepa. Okay. Yeah. We have Apostle James Carson, Sunyani. The ba James Carson, Sunyani. Oh, the wife didn't Kudabina. come. Okay. Yeah, hey. Apostle Robert Kiyando, Isam Debiso. Apostle Kiyando, Udabeta okay. Sani. We have Bishop Ohene Benjamin Abwaje, GPCC National Delegate. National Delegate, GPCC, Uchana Nutezan, Bazar Novani. Oh, he is from Perez Chapel. Uyila Perez Chapel. Thank you. Thank you, David. Pastor Ebenezer Hagan, you've directed is also around. The and the wife. Ebenezer Hagan. Good. Pastor Nachim Pentecost is a Batundana man. La Monuqua, Baby. Apostle Yike Aqua Bolga Tanga area. The Bat Bolga area head will be back. Now we have Apostle Francis Yao Edu and Sawam and the wife. The Bat Francis Yao Edu, one and Aku Dry, Yusaka and Gala, the area head of Purgunla. Hallelujah. Then we have some of our executive members in our midst. Marate executive members see we come up to to ni. Executive council members, Apostle Isaac Ni Kote Jani. The ba Apostle Isaac Ni Kote Jani. RCC coordinator for Bono East. Onyala Bono and the East area Kondana. head for Tachima. Tachima area head and la. Then we have in our midst. Our IMD. Katamare to Puni. In the person of IMD Apostle Emmanuel Ajima Bequin. And the wife. Mama Dibo. The IMD. No poa. Babepa. Hallelujah. Yeah, we have Apostle Samuel Bekum Brekum. Tamare. Sammy. Tabba. We have other personalities too from the customs and excise services. We have, yeah, please, those from customs and excise, please be upstanding. We want to acknowledge your presence. Oh, you can oh, give a clap of friend. You are welcome. God bless you. Then, in the chair this morning, 
is our own chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Kwabna and Mama Mary Nyamiche. Daddy, you are welcome. Let us say a big amen to that. Amen to Hallelujah. Amen. We want to continue with the fire pass. I believe all officers to join the members when they were going. So we will ask the ministers and wives to go and have a look to the body. Please. We will start from the platform. Our chairman, IMD, and the apostles and prophets will follow, and the wives will also come. Chairman, Please give us a song. Chorus leaders should give us a song, please. Ori Bante, Ori Abeshire, Ashwen, Etu Sumyin, Tante, Nerenche, Ome Boyenin Nano, Akosia Mwensio Jaho, Yena Oshreni and Sosheni, Ome Boyenin Nano, Adichi Fefe, Fefe,
Well, it is well. 
Dangolan and Ton Dollar. Dangolan and Ton Dollar and Changwasi. The family can follow us. Dangolan and Ton Dollar and Changwasi. Children and then the widow. Dangola. Alan and Peace Lazar. Thank you.
Hallelujah. Amen. At this juncture, we would like the family members to help coffin the body so that the minister, the young ones, energetic to bring the corpse here. Tempa sa short on so ka dangoma na yelka ka na chum bisla sungi kanandongma yina. Yeah, the family members to help us see to it that the body is coffined and then brought here. Dangola non sungi ka nandongma zana adaka ma puni katasungan zangu n yina. Thank you. Uh, we want to acknowledge the presence of the following as well. Apostle Ohimen Kwachi of Abrekuma area. He's seated where the family members are. Apostle, you are welcome. Then we have C. Aro Samuel Osu, who is the sector Commander GRA Customs Division, Upper East Region. Katamare the Baswa GRA Don Commander, Upper East Zah, Udachan and Betasani. Commander, you are also welcome. Commander to Jantari. As they prepare to bring the body, Bansha and Nabazi Nandunga, you know. We want to take the scripture reading. Tabula to Karam Litafi. We are reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through to 18. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. Piyanata, Zantopa Piyanani. With the English, Mrs. Linda Bedu will take it. Kasumintrama, Tema Linda Bedu, Yakaram. Bangba Bila District. Banda Bila District. Then the Mampu, Mampuri, Kamampuri Lamana, Obasia Sulemana, Ishaku, Wale Wale District Minister. Ka the Pastor Bla Isahaku Sulemana. After Wale. which Apostle Daniel Niteki will give us prayer of thanksgiving. So all of them should come closer. Ka Tina Teba Niteki Nenanaon. Please, I'm reading from. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Paul, Gonsha, Moda, Sovente, Thessalonica, Dumla. Kandang Tunala Sura Anasi Izba Pia Nata Zantapai Pia Nani Tama Bisi the Bobor in Yab Bet Zilensi Ni Zanchang Zanchang Ampa Novo Seba Bound Dire Kum Nela Yela Kadenang Dinincha Kaya Ka Su Kaya Ka Kabu Fabana Bantila Zugu Ho Banka Tama One Nang Nisim La Dama Dama ti nangdi yada ne yisa da chia kala nia yasa. Telan nang yada ne na wane nang ticha ka yisa nambu seba ban jisre kum nela nang tu dole yisa an labna. Tizu, tin 
Dukuma yelugu mwa blesisem kati yeti ya ma Tseba banya banna kalam ammare nyovore hale anta pa tdugma lapuna sahala muna tu te tu tu kuti dange bampon disre kumnela tuni dama banna tasi pam pam kanerbo nanti wum malaika dama zugus zugurana kunkwari ne na wuni kaka kunkuma de saha katadugma mamangnente yi zugsa sa zugo ansige na ka krista masia nan vo seba bambunjila nente dang kumne niare kat seba bangpala mari nyovuri ambe dunia wani tenen ne banen tene banen te laam en chang anti cha sangbana ne anti tu su te dug te tu se te dugma isa sori sa zugo lala katinante pala ambe te dugma masane hale ne saha denka torga de zugo ya zangma ya tu awa amare taba sufu amen na posto ni te That we please be upstanding. When you Gracious Lord and Master and King, we ascribe all praise, glory, and thanks unto your name. We thank you, Lord, for our lives and for your hands and direction in our various lives. Your word admonishes us in every situation we should give all thanks to you and continue to thank you for this is your will in Christ Jesus our Lord. To so this gathering of families, gathering of ministers and wives, gathering of friends, we together with one voice say God we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Yes, Lord, you are true. Our thoughts are not your thoughts. Our ways are not your ways. You are the Alpha and the Omega. All glory and praise be unto your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for the life of our dear brother, father, prophet's friend. It, is by your, it was by your grace that you brought him unto this land of living. You sought for him. You found him. You gave him eternal life. You established him in you. You planted your seed in him. The seed flourished. Touched and impacted lives. You were with him in difficulties. And you show your message unto all his family. We were gracious to him on this Lord. We thank you so much. At this gathering, Lord, I believe you have something for us. You plan something in our lives that we would use to continue our life on this land. Take absolute control from beginning to the end and let us feel your presence here. We are grateful once again in Jesus' name.
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All those from other areas who came here to bring their song as they prepare to bring the body. All those from other areas apart from Wariwari all other areas please bring your son. Yes. Yebe di debi debi Yebe di debi debi
Please let's sit down. You can um it's going to block someone's view. You can bring here. It's okay, you can bring it to this end. This juncture, I want all of us to find somewhere to sit. We have come here to mourn our brother. We, have not, we are not here to celebrate a life. We have come here to mourn our beloved prophet. Evans Anabamens. When I heard of his death, death I, 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 I was really devastated. I felt weak at once. Because all of us are soldiers of the cross and when one of us dies, we automatically become Weak. Weak because he was a dependable person. You are sure that what you told him, you carried out just as you instructed him. So I rise here um, because I was outside. I just rush in when I return from. Um, my trip. When I was about to leave Wale Wale, I decided to meet the wife before I I depart finally. And then she told me what Evans Anaba Mensa told one pastor who was with him at the hospital on the Monday he was hospitalized. He had to be in the hospital throughout the night on that Monday. And so this pastor was with him. And then he told the pastor that for him, nothing happens to him with, without God 
revealing to him. And that God has revealed to him that he is going to take him home. That he was going to die. But he is finding it very difficult to let the wife be aware. But this is what God has told him. Then this pastor was trying to tell him that he shouldn't be saying such things and that he was not going to leave anytime soon. So when the wife mentioned this to me, I asked her, whether the pastor was around. Because I wanted to hear it from the pastor himself. So the pastor came in, I called him. And then he repeated the same thing. Then he says that on the Wednesday after he was uh, discharged on Tuesday, the following day Wednesday, the pastor in the company of others went to the area head, and that is Evans Anaba, to visit him. And then he told them that it is, it is not the sick who dies, but the one whose time is up, the one that the Lord wants to take to heaven, is the person that the Lord will actually take. Then on Saturday, the Lord called him home. I was going back a bit confused. Because we are always learning. I was thinking that maybe if he did that, if he did that, if he did that, he could have still been here. But he says the Lord has told him that he will call him. And that is not the one who is sick that dies, but the one whose time is up, the Lord will call him. This morning we are here. Not because of another. The dead does not praise the Lord. And if he, he knows or he knew that God was going to take him away, and that all his challenge was the wife whom he couldn't divulge this information to. And then today we are not here because of somebody who was so sure that the Lord was going to take him. See, if we are here because of the wife, the children, the bereaved family, and all of us. So what we are here to mourn, so that in our mourning, the Lord will console and strengthen the wife, the children, and all of us. Now, because for him, he's resting with the Lord. For none of us lives for himself. None dies for himself. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Why? For, for this very reason, Christ died and returned to life so that it might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. So we don't lose God in death. He is our father when we are dead. He is our father and Lord when we are still alive. So whether we die or live, we belong to the Lord. So, so far as God is concerned, there is no difference between death and life. When you die, you are for him. 
When you live, you still belong to him. That is why the ancient believers called death as sleeping. You open your eyes and you still belong to the Lord. The pain is on this side of the universe where the living is. Where human beings with limited understanding of God is. But so far as God is concerned, there is no difference between the believer dying and the believer living. That is why the Apostle Paul said, I'm torn between two opinions. Whether to live or to die. I know that when I Go on to eternity by way of death. It is it is okay because I will rest from my labor. But I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. So I pray that my life will be spared. So that I'll continue to be a blessing. This morning, wherever you are, this is the message we are going to preach today. So I'll, I'm preaching what Apostle Akwa will preach. There is no difference between the death and the living. So far as Christ is is concerned. So far as you are concerned, there's no difference. But those of us who are under the sun, our myopic view of the world, and the fact that we are dust, we need to be strengthened and consoled. See, if what he said is true, then before God would take him away, he would make every preparation for every son of his, every child of a, a, a prophet Anaba, the wife and everybody. He will make preparation before he takes him away. You see, so he has made their, their provision against the future already. And then he picked the father. So all the children are going to be guided and walked into that provision that God has made. But because we are human beings, we tend to ask why. Particularly the how. When Jesus was hanging on the tree and he saw the woman crying, he turned and looked at them. If it's a man, he's a man. But if it's a man, he's a man. But not me. Today we have to think about ourselves. And how we can hold on to Christ. So we die like our brother has died. Died at the feet of the cross. Still holding on to Jesus. Sometimes some challenges in life can let us let go of Christ. Uh, let us pray that in spite of the challenges we go through, what we have is going to take us straight before God Almighty. So we need to hold on fast to him. Because the affliction that we are going through on this part of the world, it is nothing compared to the eternal glory we are going to receive. So hold on fast to God. If you do, then you hold on and hold on to your eternal life and with that internal life, enter into eternity. No one dies for himself. No one dies for himself. No one lives for himself. If we die, 
We die for the Lord. When we live, we are his. Therefore, whether we die or live, there is no difference. For God is the God of the dead as well as the God of the living. If there is anyone here who do not know our God, then we plead with you because you will die twice. There is no hope for you in eternity. There is only one hope. There is only one ransom that God recognizes. The blood of his son Jesus Christ. And for the blood to wash your sins away, you need to confess Jesus as Lord. Otherwise, the wrath of God is still upon you. But this morning, as I bring this message to a close, whoever you are, whether you are apostle or pastor, you need to have a better understanding of Christianity. Otherwise, when we limit Christianity to what we will eat and wear and call that a blessing, we will say this and what has happened to our brother is a curse. It is not a curse. The Lord has called him home. For those of us who are still alive, we should mourn for ourselves and then hold on to Christ. So, our dear wife, be strengthened in the Lord. Your children are in the hands of the Almighty God. They are, their future is safe and secure. God will order their steps into that glory that he has prepared for them. Cry no more. It will be painful. But what God has said will surely come to pass concerning you and your children. It will surely come to pass. Shall we rise to our feet? Let us pray. Shall we bow down our heads now? You want to give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are. I want you to boldly lift up your right hand. Because what it means is this. You are going to exchange fathers. You are moving away from the hands of the enemy. And today you are you will be the son or the daughter of the living God. If you want to give your life to Jesus, lift your hand, your right hand. Wherever you are, if you do not know him, and let the ashes open their eyes, and then as many whose hands are up, let us encourage them. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. For tomorrow may not be yours. Today is the day of salvation. It is today that you have. You do not have tomorrow. Let your hand be up. And then let the pastors open their eyes. Gently encourage such people to come forward. As many of you that whose hands are up, please, please rush down. Come from wherever you are. Come boldly. Rush, rush here. Run, 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 run. Come to Jesus. Come to him. Come, 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 come to him. As many who wants Christ to be their Lord. Yes, rush to him. Yes, rush to him. If they are feeling shy in one way or the other. Yeah, just come. Young man, come. Come, as many that can follow, follow. Follow, rush, rush, rush. 
This death is so precious. We need a lot of life to replace this death. A lot of people should go into the kingdom of God together. If our brother. Just put your hands together. Continue to put your hands together. As many of you that lifted your hands, we are still waiting. Come to Jesus now. Shall we bow down our hands? So these young two girls and a boy. Please lift your hands. And those of you who couldn't come, your, your hands still up, you can still lift them. And then repeat after me. Dear Lord, today I repent of my sins. And I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray for this you and all those who are standing there who have prayed this sinner's prayer. Save them. Show them what to do. Find them a good church. Let them sit at your feet like Mary did. Let them know you like prophet and about them, so that when they die they will die in you if they are alive let them understand that they are alive in you so that in them there will be no difference between living and dying the Lord Amen, Amen. so we will please sit down and we will take a tribute from the family and then we will take the tribute from the wife. We will take from the children. And then we will take from the general council. We will take from Walwali area in the general. Uh, the biography from the family, please. Praise the Lord. The biography of the late prophet Evans Anaba Mensa. Then Job replies, if only my argues could be weighed and all my ministry be placed on the scale, it was it was surely outweighed by outweighed the sand of the sea. No whether my words my words have been in pictures. The arrows of the Almighty are in me. My spirit drinks in the my spirit my spirit drinks in the poison. God Biography of the late Prophet Evans Anaba Mensan. Okay. Then Job replied, Introduction. Almighty, a mighty tree has fallen. Earth trembles. The leaves of an oak witness and trees roll to the depth of the sea. A vacuum has been created and it is difficult to fail. But to die in the Lord is a gain. His birth. The late Ivan Sanaba Mensa, affectionately called Eja, was born on Sunday, 14th April, 1968, at Songe, near Garu, to Madame Atinab. Atianab. Atianab. Thank you. Who is still alive? And Mr. Amaloyan Dagu, of blessed memory. Evans was the second of the 11 children born to his parents. Education. 
An Obamensa had his basic education at Adiembra LA schools and obtained the middle school living certificate in 1987. In 1988, he proceeded to Ampabami Islamic Secondary School to further his education. His performance in secondary school was very promising, but he ended his secondary education at Form 3 due to financial constraints. However, he did not, however, he did not give up. He pursued a degree in theology and graduated from the then Pentecost University College, now Pentecost University, in the year 2010. Employment. Since he could not further his education to his expectation, he went into farming until his call into full-time ministry of the Church of Pentecost in, 20, in 2000. The late Evans and other men accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior and was baptized by, by Pastor M.O. Ando, currently Apostle, retired in 1985 at Ninahim. Due to his commitment and zeal for the work of the Lord, he was ordained as an officer in the church. Before his call into the full-time ministry, he served in many capacities in the church as a presiding elder district witness movement leader, district executive committee member, and Ashanti Region A prayer team member. His ministerial call. Prophet Evans and other Mensa was called into the full-time ministry of the Church of Pentecost in 2000 through the recommendation of Pastor William Ohime Kwache, now Apostle. Stations served. Prophet Evans and other Mensa and the family served in the following stations. Suma Ahinko District in the Brekum area 2000 to 2005. Brekum West District. Brekum area in from 20. 2005 to 2008. Lamashegu District, that's Tamale area, 2008 to 2014. Ayabonum District in the Suhum area, 2014 to 2019. North Kaneshi District, 2019 to 2021. And Walewali area, as the area head from 2021 to 2022. His marriage and family life. Prophet Anaba Mensah got married to Mrs. Gladys Anaba who was a member of the Methodist Church on 27th April, 1997. Their wedding was held at the Ninahim Central Assembly of the Church of Pentecost and was officiated by Pastor Ohemi Kwache. They were blessed with five biological children, two daughters and three sons. His love for his nuclear and extended families was very impressive. He had a strong bond with his wife, children, and the entire family. We feel a stab in our hearts for losing such a person. His God-fearing and prayer attitude opened the door of salvation to the entire family, and now the family can boldly say, Christ is now our, inherit uh, our heritage. The social life. Prophet Anaba was humble, affable, caring, and resilient. He was deeply concerned about the needs of people. His promptness to assist any family member in need, either in kind or cash, was enviable. His sense of humor and diplomacy in handling thorny issues always brought peace and tranquility. His hospitality was very exceptional, and he was open to criticism and correction. His home call. Prophet Anaba Mensah called us on Friday, 27th May 2022, to fraternize us as usual with the family, and through that revealed to us that he fell sick and recovered between Monday 23rd and Thursday 26th May 2022. The sudden home call of Prophet Ivan Sanaba Mensa on Saturday 28th May 2022 came as a shock to us as a family. Our mouths were filled with hot saliva, difficult to swallow and uneasy to spit out. Our ankles were dislocated from their original position and tenuously the atmosphere became cloudy, even though there was no indication of rain. Ah, we have lost a good man, a friend, a counselor, and an encourager. Nevertheless, our hearts remain resolute, knowing that we shall meet Eja again in heaven. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Pray, pray, 
yare wa o wu cha so ma wa na we wu yesu kri sto no we are say amane no do so how i pray pray ne yare wa For the things of God in me, 
as he involved me in his pastoral ministry, especially visits to local assemblies. I am filled with nostalgia for our honeymoon, which was committed to evangelism at Ochirikrum, which led to the opening of an assembly a district seat of the church. Saturday, 28th May, 2022, happened to be the darkest, day, darkest of days for me as a couple. We woke in the morning doing very well. We had our morning devotion, after which I gladly prepared our breakfast. He insisted I do it quickly since he was expecting an officer from the headquarters to facilitate an estate seminar. After breakfast, he gladly welcomed the facilitator and other ministers, and with warmth, prayed to see them off to Nalerugu for the seminar. About mid-afternoon, I saw that my husband's briefing pace had changed. He was then rushed to the hospital, I followed up with his NHIS card within a few minutes with the conviction that I will find him responding positively to treatment. However, upon reaching the health facility, I saw that he lying motionless with a devastating report from the medical doctor that, have passed, that he had passed on to glory, just like that. Indeed, a great vacuum had been created in my life. When will I see my beloved again? I could see the longing of my husband to finish the work that the Lord has set for him while it was so day. I cannot quantify the joy that emanated from him when he shared with me what he intended to do in his itinerary for the year. But death has transcated it. I have ever know that my husband has finished his work here on earth and is now resting in the bosom of the Lord. Eva, Ephraim, Divine, Eugenia, Eratus, and I will forever mix him. I will forever be grateful to God and him for a life well lived and the impact he made in my life. I will forever be appreciative to the relentless moment he spent laboring for his Lord. I console myself knowing that my husband is with the Lord and we will meet again. May he rest peacefully in the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. The Ama Jesus nyame dana hu mo bro adru yesu metona ye yinyo ama Jesus nyame dana hu mo bro adru Who comforts us in all our troubles, 
though that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves received from God. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. Ejayao, daddy, captain, among others, were the names we called our beloved father. But captain was the one that stood out. Captain, because of Captain Planet, a children cartoon character which we all enjoyed watching. The superhero assigned duties to young people to protect the planet. So it was no surprise to us when our daddy started assigning ministerial duties to us. Mommy was the education minister in charge of our education. Eva, that's myself, I was in charge of the food to be prepared in the house. Ephraim was our financial minister. Divine was in charge that we always had constant supply of water at home. Eugenia was to make sure that our lights are on and off every day. Kimora was in charge of sanitation to make sure the house was always clean. Erastus was our information minister. He taught us how to be responsible young people. Captain was a selfless man. He sacrificed everything he had for us to have a better life. He was our father, our best friend, advisor, prayer pillar, and everything. When something was bothering us, we knew our dad definitely would have a solution. He brought us up in the ways of the fears of the Lord. He taught us the importance of morning devotion and led us to always pray, fast, and study the word of God. These spiritual exercises have helped to ground us in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. Daddy was a man of integrity. He was always content with the little he had. He taught us to be content with what the Lord gives to us. He always advised us to look up to God in any situation we find ourselves in. For our ultimate prize is in heaven. We are happy today because we know our father served God in his time here with us. And now he has been called home to rest. We are very appreciative of, it, of his love for us. We are very grateful for helping us to know God, not a church building. He had impacted our generation and the generations ahead. We are grateful to him for the beautiful love he shared with our mother. Only heaven knows how much we miss and we love you, daddy. Rest easy, Ejayao. Rest in power, captain. Pamsum Mbaba. Silinyente Taba. Thank you. Tribute by the Wadwali area. Tribute by the Wadwali area. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, the verse 13 from the KJB. We are grateful to God for the opportunity he gave us to experience the ministry of the late prophet Ivan Sanaba Mensa. Prof, as we affectionately called him, was transferred from North Kaneshi District to Walwale as the area head in 2021. The family arrived in Walwale on Monday, 23rd August 2021 and was officially welcomed on Sunday, 29th August 2021. Soon after taking over the administration of the area, it became clear that he was the man modeled by the Lord for the period he stayed. We wish he had lived longer. The late prophet Adamba had evangelism at the core of his heart. No wonder the first item on the five-year vision he coined for the area was to form an area head evangelism team, a team that engaged in evangelistic outreaches and church planting, which he was personally involved in. He was a man of prayer and a great intercessor. Within the short period he stayed with us, a series of prayer programs were organized at different levels of the area. The spirit suiting vocabs that poured out of his public prayer gave a clue to the intensity with which he engaged in his private prayer life. As one writer puts it, God shapes the world by prayer. The lips that uttered them may be called 
lives in death, but the prayers live before God and God's heart is set on them. The savor of prayer he mounted in the area can still be felt. Was a man of great faith. Nothing could shatter his persuasions of what he was convinced the Lord was leading him to. No wonder the area was able to achieve great faith within the short period he was at the helm of affairs. He owned his foundational leadership to the gift of faith he operated in. His zeal and enthusiasm for excellence were made bare as he did not settle for substandard performance. He pursued his vision in all earnest and did not give room for procrastination. We have now understood why he pursued tasks in haste. He knew the king's business required swiftness. One of the ample hallmarks that became visible to the pastorate was his life of integrity. He did not only teach about integrity, he lived it. He always returned surplus of funds released to him for an assignment. He jealously gathered church funds and always interrogated the benefit of a requisition in relation to the mission. His in-depth his in-depth wisdom in solving solving situations in a fragment of time was adorable. Of humor, this job with this green parties going back in accordance. His family life was enviable. Everyone knew that Prophet Anaba loved his family. He was a good example of the description given in First Timothy chapter three, the verse four about who a good overseer is. He was affable and treated both the young and old with dignity. During his visit to the district. He detested preferential treatment. He slept where we slept. His joy was seen when he visited the locals in the hinterlands. He was a mentor and a disciple maker. He gave the ministers the platform to operate without fear of failure. He made time to correct mistakes and encourage better fits. Interventions such as intentional leadership development, which he initiated and was geared towards raising young and budding leaders across the area were phenomenal. His strict adherence to the Church of Pentecost doctrine, policies, and practices can be attested to. He insisted that ministers model an indigenous Pentecostal church where our worship was deeply rooted in the culture of the people. We have lost a father, a prophet, a mentor, and a trainer. His death has brought sorrow to us. Today, we mourn his departure from this earth. We are, however, comforted that one day we shall see him again at the sound of the trumpet of God. May his soul rest eternally in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. Tribute by the General Council of the Church of Pentecost. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Romans chapter 14, verse 18. The death of righteous and selfless men often evokes power of sorrow among brethren in the Lord. We love them and we wish they would around longer to serve the Lord, the church, and humanity with their sterling qualities. Nonetheless, we are comforted in the assurance of the hope of the resurrection and the fact that we belong to God even in death. Prophet Evans and Abba Mensa accepted the call into the full-time ministry of the Church of Pentecost in 2000. He served in the following stations. Tuma Hinkro, from 2000 to 2005. Brekum West District, in the Brekum area, from 2005 to 2008. Lamashagu District, in the Tamale area, from 2008 to 2014. Ayebro Ayebronum district, to whom area from 2014 to 2018, and North 
Kanishi district, in the Kanishi area, from 2019 to 2021. In 2021, he was transferred to serve as area head of the Church of Pentecost, Walewale area, where he ministered to his heavenly call on May 28, 2022. Prophet Anaba was a very gentle, humble, respectful, and dependable. He was a selfless and God-fearing minister who had special reverence for the things of God and policies of the church. He was such a dedicated minister to work with due to his deal for ministry and team spirit. His devotion to prayer was exemplary. As a result, his ministry was blessed with notable miracles and other supernatural manifestations. His prophetic gifting was sharp, having been blessed particularly with the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom. During the 45th session of the General Council meetings held in May 2021, it pleased the Lord for him to be called to the office of a prophet. He was a good Bible teacher and an expositor who rightly divided the word of God to the understanding of all persons. Prophet Anaba was affable and benevolent towards the poor and the needy. He personally invested in the lives of members to enable them achieve their dreams. As a good shepherd to the flock of God, he related very well with both members and non-members of the church. In all the stations he served, he had a good deal of respect for all persons, children, youth, and the aged. This is the man, the church, family, and nation has lost for this period while we remain on earth. Nevertheless, we remain confident that the Lord has not forsaken us. The General Council of the Church of Pentecost would like to extend its sincerest sympathy to the bereaved family, especially his wife, Mrs. Gladys Anaba, his children, ministerial family, and members in the Walwali area for the loss. Our prayer is that the Lord who gave him as a gift to us would stoop every aching heart, heal any bruised spirit, and comfort every soul. May the soul of our departed brother rest in perfect peace. Amen. God bless you, Apostle. Praise the Lord. Please, we want to remind ourselves that uh, there is a donation table set on my right-hand side here. If there is any donation with you, if either being personal or you were sent to come and donate, kindly send it there. It will be received. Let's be on our feet as Pastor Boate will lead us to sing. Hobeshim yen afa munukum yimu akoyen e janchen wasoro ono yekoma beto yen yen i obema yen Oh, yeah. 
I've not been to any funeral that the tribute from the wife and the children and the area is so positive like than, than this one. You could see the man of God coming out of the tribute. When I was reading through, when they brought me the executive, the general counsel's tribute to just go through, I this is the first time I've made insertions in tributes ever since I became the leader of the church. And the one way that I wanted to appear. It to appear in the tribute was dependable. Dependable. I will encourage all pastors to keep this, this, this brochure. Keep it. Then when you go back, read and read again. If even half of us have the spirit of Pastor Anaba. Or Prophet Anaba. We will go places. There's many of you that desire that sharp prophetic inside with integrity and teaching ability with a heart of love. There's many of the ministers that desire. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Yeah, I'll ask uh, Apostle Quaxon. He seems to be the eldest amongst us. He will pray for us. The pastor said, "Baba, I'm bored. The ba anabo si matabo no uzim no tumnao no tumana anab turguma. Who can we nuzi? The ba onwa Jesus wa. Our Father in heaven, we give you all praise and we give you adoration. We want to thank you for a refreshing moment like this. It is a fact that." Our gathering today has been a period of learning. We've learned a lot this morning from the message we received and from the tributes we have heard. We are grateful unto you, Lord, for bringing us to this funeral service today. We pray in committing ourselves to, unto you. Father, continue to help us reflect on all that we have received this morning. And we know a change will come into our lives. We pray that, Lord, whoever has been part of this meeting will go refreshed, will go changed so that we will continue to live for you and continue to live by your word. We thank you and we bless you for everything. Father, we are praying for our colleague ministers. We pray that, Lord, the message 
and the message in the tribute will impact on the lives of each and every individual, especially our colleague ministers. As we are committed to do your work, our Father, let the Spirit continue to speak into our hearts and our spirits so that just as we are hearing our prophet lived his life, that will also reflect in ours. And glory and honor will be given to you whenever a testimony like this is said about us. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Apostle. We want to call the family to bring their son. The, the widow, the children, and the rest of the family members. After that, then we take our offering. Yeah, our table is still there. Fang at the table and a good palambeni. Table set for donations. Table siatons and zane pinit tables and chambenella. Please do well to visit that place. Bang imangani in chankaba benama. And offer. Can ipini. And God will bless you. Canaan and ningi alabarca. The family will bring their song. Dangoma yanazia human. Come in front here, others can come. Banga yechi antuna na. Oyu re sobia, oyu re sobia, oyu re sobia, Arizona. Oyu re sobia, oyu re sobia, oyu re sobia, Arizona. Oyu re sobia, Arizona. Oyu re sobia, oyu re sobia, oyu re sobia. Mama and the family, may the Lord continue to comfort you. In this funeral, you add on to what the chairman has said. We've heard that it is not the sick that die. It's rather those who times are up that die. Both of us who are living and those who are dead belong to God. The Lord is here as we lay our father to rest. I will humbly ask all of us to please stand to our feet if we can to observe one minute silence as we remember our prophet, our daddy, our father, our mentor. Six man puny and a susi, tin and twike at the dwans and to bear easy, minty yin puny and tiai, the bama yella. One 
minutes. Church of Pentecost extends thanksgiving and appreciation to you for giving us such a son. Yani Pentecost ma to pusere dango ma pam yantati na chimbal ho tabawa. It is rare to find somebody like Prophet Anaba. The team pam nti nyeswa kunani taba Anaba. Thank you. To pusia. That we pray. Echa katoso na wunu. Father, we thank you for today. We are not here to ask you questions. But we thank you for your sovereignty. Thank you for what you have done. For your supremacy, your God, in our lives. To show us the way. To prove to us that indeed you are strong. We thank you for our father and our brother. And our everything. We thank you for the family. As we stand here, we pray for them. Continue to console them and continue to comfort them. Strengthen every feeble hand of theirs. And steady every knee of theirs that give way. Continue to speak to their fearful hearts that you are with them. And indeed we believe that you continue to be with them. Let them always remember what prophet Anaba stood for. Let them rely on the God who prophet Anaba relied upon. Be their light. Be their work. Be their everything, O oh God. Let them be extraordinary even after the demise of our father and our brother. And we believe that you will lead them all the way through and through. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Now, no me We will take our offering as they prepare to have their seats. And the chorus leaders should help us give a local song. They our elder, the area deacon is around, please. Area deacon Benny. See to it that the rubber bowls are placed at the vantage points. Ne Yaguan Kabuna Mazazi did Okay. Yeah. Please let's be on our feet if you can. Fanga in and twenty of the Duanzani. Cut a union map at the truth. Look at one. Yeah, we should direct our brothers and sisters so that they can come and then offer. Oh, Maradunyaza, oh no, hey, Samaradunyaza, Hallelujah, oh Maradunyaza, oh no, Hallelujah, Maradunyaza, oh no, oh Maradunyaza, oh no. O mala dunia sa o nuni, o mala dunia sa o nuni, o mala dunia sa o nuni, isa mala dunia sa o nuni, o mala dunia sa o nuni, o mala dunia sa o nuni, o mala dunia sa o nuni, isa mala dunia sa o nuni.
Hallelujah, the number of the Pacham. 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 Hallelujah, 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 H
You can give a clap of applause to our Lord. Yes, that one is great and wonderful. Hey. Please. Kindly come upstairs here. Hey. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apostle Anaba had ne, his favorite Kusasi song. Ne, he came to Nalergu. Na na and anytime he came, he said, Who will ever see a Kusasi man leaving his ancestors, uh, slaughtering fowls, slaughtering goods, and worshiping God? <laughs> But he has sacrificed himself for that. And he had a favorite song. Which I would like the family and all of us to sing that song. Whoever knows that song should help us sing that song.
Uh -huh. What can be likened to God? Oh, okay. Among the trees, the mountains, and the coast, they That's cannot right. be compared oh, to, to God. Him, to to him. Amen. Give a clap of front to the Lord. Lord. Our Lord is a sovereign Lord. What he likes is what he does. Amen and amen. Amen. We want to take announcements from the area secretary. Area secretary Sane. In the family too, if you have something, tell us. A rep should also come forward. Quickly. We want to humbly ask that with all humility our Father ahead, the apostles uh, on the days to help us meet as at the area mission hubs right to after the memorial service. The apostles the area we also want to humbly ask that um, the leaders of the groups that came from afar um, should humbly and kindly meet us at the first room on my right. A person has been assigned to assist you. And to speak with you. God willing, after the memorial service and the interment being done, the family members together with mourners all around will, will still converge at the same premises to continue with the funeral till the evening. I also want to, I'm sure the family will bring that one, but the interment or the committer after this service will take place at Winaba. The hometown of our dear late prophet. Ne to sohrene tonight so oma yenang la winaba te bama mo yiten shana. Tomorrow, God willing. Now you sake you aswa. Church services will take place in all local assemblies of the Church of Plenty. Ne local assemblies are benika jese nang church. For Wale Wale district. Wale district. We're having our service at the Wale Wale English Assembly. To say, Mary, to church, Mala English Assembly, uh, which is closer to Need Dentist. Can we be Need Dentist? That's the area mission house. Uh, we also want to keep ourselves a reminder that tomorrow is Pentecost University offering day. Ne, to bola titi also comes out. Ne biosa nyala Pentecost University dawre. Then lastly, uh, the coming week is Lord's Supper week. Kapa kwa shaka ntuma yenyala na umbundirgo. So we have realized that we observe it as such. To the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, we are here on behalf of the family. We thank the Almighty God for his love send for us. Since the passing on of our family member, the Lord has been so good to us. So we are here to thank him. We are grateful to him. Secondly, we are grateful to the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche and Mama to ba Apostle Eric Nyamiche Netama. Mama Mary. Netama Mary. They have shown great love to the family. Babale ste ulna Michelle Dengalsi. Since the passing on of our dear prophet. Ne to ba ma kalansi dari hal nzuna. Our dear chairman has been in contact with us. To ba ma biu kamza sa okubo na ne kanyer to guonjiya. This is the second time of our gracing this. Okay. We thank our general secretary and also our dear IMD who is present with the wife. We say, Papa, we are grateful to you. 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 We are grateful to
richly blessed. And we also thank the executive council members. One of them is here. And the person of Apostle uh, Isaac Ni Koti Jani. God bless you for whatsoever that you have lost on us. We will never leave uh, Northern RCC. Though the coordinator is not here, but they have done a human's job. So, our dear Apostle Yiki Akwa, who was on the seat. You have organized everything so nicely. Northern RCC, we say God bless you. And all those who are here, the pastors and their wives, and also our cherished uh, chiefs from uh, within the area. We say God bless you. We say God bless you. Whatsoever that you have lost on the family, we just just want to say God replenish you. Why shall we say then to Walwale area? We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. At the helm of affairs. The organization and everything. So the area executive committee. So area to the The pastorate. pastor The presbytery. The entire members of our Wale area. members We just want to say God bless you. You will never forget what you have done. And also I cherish uh, mourners. It is a prayer that the Lord who is able to reward abandon that same Lord shall reward you. Whatsoever that you have lost on this funeral, I just want to say may the Lord reward you. God richly bless you. And it is a prayer that when you are going, May the Lord grant you traveling messages to your destination. Now, on the other hand, our dear corporate family, God bless you. Okay, now, Albert can so come, sir. Amen. Amen. And uh, please, uh, we will uh, continue on the funeral here. Ne kuruma bantu kaka. We will continue. We will continue. So those who are, uh, they have uh, made donation, those who wish to go can go, but we will continue the funeral. Ne. As we go to the hometown to bury the corpse. Uh, we cherish your coming. The, we cherish your coming. Bless you too. Please, let's be on our feet as we take the closing prayer. Apostle Yawadu of Nsawam. will give us the closing prayer. And Apostle Asairo will give the benediction. Apostle Asairo, Tete Arbarka. Shall we pray? Our hearts are full of joy and gratitude for what you have done. Our Heavenly Father, we just want to bless you, oh God, for making us witnesses of this occasion. We are not just attending a funeral, but an occasion of impartation and an occasion of distribution of grace and gift. Father, we bless you. It is your doing and it is what you have purported before the creation of this world. We thank you for the life of our dear brother, Anaba. His life is a living testimony for us as a people and coming generation. We bless you, O God. Your grace has been sufficient to God for us. 
from the beginning of this program to this very end. We are praying, committing ourselves unto you, that, oh God, you continue to be with us. Even you granted traveling mercy from far and near, that at the end your name will be glorified. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. As we prepare to take the benediction, the driver of the hearse, if there is an access, then you can come in. Where? Unless, okay, probably. Then the ministers to get ready, those who are clericals, the young one and energetic. After the benediction, then we convey the body to the Yes. Thank you. Shall we receive the benediction? May the Lord continue to bless you with a life of simplicity. May he bless you with a life of contentment. May he bless you with the heart of integrity. May he bless you with the spirit of hard work. May he bless you with the hope that there is tomorrow. May he bless you with the hope that when we die, that is not the end. We only asleep. May, may you go in this spirit that when we sleep, we shall wake up. Go in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. They should give us some.